Welcome to my channel, where we dive deep into the world of law. Whether you're a law student, bar reviewee, legal practitioner, or just someone looking to better understand the law, you're in the right place. Remember, ignorance of the law excuses no one from compliance therewith. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest legal insights. Welcome to our legal analysis series. Today, we're diving into a significant case in administrative law. TIDSP versus Demigillo. This case not only explores the boundaries of preventive suspension in the civil service, but also clarifies the conditions under which such suspensions can be imposed. The case involves Maria Rosario Manaling Demigillo, a senior vice president at the Trade and Investment Development Corporation of the Philippines, TIDCorp. She was charged with grave misconduct, insubordination, and gross discourtesy after a verbal altercation with TIDCorp's president and CEO, Joel Valdez, and for sending a memorandum with disrespectful language. To ensure the integrity of the investigation, TIDCorp placed her under preventive suspension for 90 days. Demigillo contested the suspension before the Civil Service Commission, CSC, arguing that it was improper under the uniform rules on administrative cases in the civil service. The CSC ruled in her favor stating that preventive suspension requires proof of potential witness intimidation or evidence tampering, a decision upheld by the Court of Appeals. The central issue was whether Demigillo's 90-day preventive suspension was lawful under the circumstances, given the provisions of the uniform rules on administrative cases in the civil service. The Supreme Court upheld the validity of Demigillo's preventive suspension. The court emphasized that under Section 51 of the Revised Administrative Code, preventive suspension is permissible when the charges involve dishonesty, oppression, grave misconduct, or neglect of duty, or if there are reasonable grounds to believe the respondent is guilty of charges warranting removal from service. The court clarified that the concerns cited by the CSC, preventing witness intimidation or evidence tampering, are not prerequisites but the purpose of preventive suspension. Citing Gloria v. Court of Appeals, the court stated, Preventive suspension pending investigation is a measure intended to enable the disciplining authority to investigate charges against the respondent by preventing the latter from intimidating or in any way influencing witnesses against him. As such, preventing the subordinate officer or employee from intimidating witnesses during the investigation or from tampering with documentary evidence in her office is a purpose, not a condition for imposing preventive suspension. In conclusion, the Supreme Court reinforced the authority of government agencies to impose preventive suspensions under specific circumstances, provided the charges are severe enough to potentially warrant removal from service. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, stay tuned for the upcoming content. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I've got plenty more in store that you won't want to miss. See you in the next one.